Hi there, how are you college math students? So in this video, we're going to be looking at calculating gradients using the classic old formula of rise over run. So this gives us the slope of the line, which is the gradient. So just as we talk about uh, the steep hills having a steep gradient or uh, a very flat surface having a, a, a very low gradient uh, lines can have or straight lines in the Cartesian plane can have uh, steep gradients and they can also have uh, not so steep gradients now if uh, a line is going up to the right like this then we've got a positive gradient if it's going down to the right, in that case we have a negative gradient. So if we look over here at this first example on the left, we have two points on the line, this point and this point. Now it wouldn't matter which two points we chose, we'll always get the same gradient because we're on the same line. So it doesn't matter what points you choose but you need to correctly identify the rise and the run. So in this case, the rise through here, one, two, three, four, five, six units upwards. So our rise is six. Now what is our run? So, from this point we go across from here so we pick up where we left off with the rise and we've got one, two, three units that way so see how we start at one point and finish at the other but we go up and across so in this case the gradient will be six divided by three two there's our gradient so armed with this knowledge, you might feel like you want to pause the video at this stage and uh, have a go at the next two on your own. Then I'll have a go at them. Right, so if you did pause the video, watch closely and see if you got the right answer. Now, one thing that is different here is that these lines slope down to the right. The first one is sloping up to the right. So we get a positive 2 gradient, but these are sloping down to the right, so they're going to end up with negative values. So if you did end up with positive values, maybe you just want to pause the video and rethink what you did. But I'll try it next. Okay, so here we're starting at this point, and we're going to go down until we're level with the next point, and then across. I'm not going to color code it this time. So this time I'm going down one, two, three, four units. So my rise is negative four because I'm going downwards. Now the run's always positive in this case, one, two, three, four, five, four over five, so negative 0 0.8 for that one. Okay, now this one going down again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten just double check that yep i'm happy that that's 10 so a rise of negative 10 and then we're going to go across five so in this case negative 10 over five which gives negative two so just to show these a little more clearly, so for this first one, we had a rise of 6 from here to here, and a run of 3. 6 over 3 gives 2. Here we have negative 4 and 5 across that way, and here negative 10 by 5. Okay, go ahead and try the questions in the, 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 the description for the video.